Hey y'all, it's your girl Lakeisha Monique coming back at you with another video. Just a quick video. Um, I just wanted to do a few things that I didn't do before, uh, which are some heart pop sockets. Um, so I mean, I put them on the website already, but I never did um, sublimate them when they came in. So, this is the part you sublimate. This is the part that's that has the adhesive that you're going to stick to that. Then you put your picture on it. And, ew. and that's the part that's going to go on the back of your phone or iPod, I, iPod or whatever you want to put it on. You peel this off. And then you stick it to it and then your picture will be here so i have the black and they each come individual in their own little bags they are on the website so that's the black one i also have the white one Ooh. heart that you sublimate on that's the pop socket that sticks to the back of your phone or ipod and that's the adhesive backing that you're going to stick onto the heart. All right, so that's two. And I also have the round. This is the white um, pop socket. This is the part that this that you sublimate on. That's the back is silver. The front is white. And then, of course, the back. Pull it out. Tear this off and you stick that to the back of your phone or your iPod. Now, make sure whatever you do, there is a thin layer of plastic film on the part that you sublimate. I made that mistake one time when I first did it because I didn't see it. And even though it's still sublimated, but you do not want it to burn. Okay, so make sure you pull it off. Now for me, I use my weeding tool and I know I shouldn't, but I don't have any nails. So I'm just going to pull it back a little bit when I'm ready. I don't know if you can see this. See that little film here? And you just peel it off, wipe it off, and then you put your picture on top. So we're going to be doing that. Now, also, on the website, I have business card holders. Now, this would be for your customers. All right? So, and I have them in packs. Like, it's the business card holder. i am show you what this is in a minute. And then you also get 10 business cards with this. Now, you can purchase each of them separately. You can buy just the business card holder or you can purchase just the business cards and you can sublimate them. Um, so this is the business card holder. It holds about 10 of them. So this is the adhesive backing that you're going to use this for. This is the part that you sublimate on. And again, there's a thin piece of film right on the front. I don't know if you can see it at the bottom here. And you're just going to pull it up, like I said, or whichever side you can pull up. I use my weeding tool. And I don't know if you can see that. And you see, it's just this thin little piece right here. So you make sure that you pull that off. Sublimate your picture, you know, wipe it off first. Sublimate your picture on your heat press. And then you're going to pull up this adhesive backing and then you're going to take that and then you're just going to st stick it right there. And your business cards that you sublimate so you can pass them out to your customers or maybe your customers, they want their own business cards and that's what you do for them. Okay, so we're going to do that. And I am also going to put 
my company's name on this license plate. All right. And again, there's a thin piece of film on this and you're going to find it again as best as you can. <laughs> ah, should, okay, here you go. All right, so you find the little edge that you need to pull up. See? And you pull that off, wipe it off, put it on top of what you're going to sublimate, and then there you go. Now, we're also going to sublimate on this. This is for the black bags that came in. So, yes, it is detachable, so you're not putting the whole bag on the heat press. There's no need for that. As I showed you with my last bag, I have the red ones at um, two. So it go is Velcro right here. You sublimate your picture, and then in the back, Velcro, and that's how your black bag is. And you can open this up. Till it's long, and then you put it on as a crossbody bag, not for yourself, of course. You can, uh, because I'll be wearing this this summer because I really don't like bags, big pocketbook bags, and I'm gonna put a picture on here and do it myself. But this one is gonna be for my. Ah, sorry. I knew that was gonna happen. Sorry. So. That one, that one will be for my granddaughter for her little trip. She asked me to put her cousin and her picture on it. So this is the picture I'm going to put on there for her so she could take her bag with her. I'm also going to put that on the pop socket because that's what she wants. All right. So the only thing I'm doing now, I don't even have to cut. This. I am going to let's do the white one first and I'm going to find that little piece all right and then pull it off just going to stick that to the side uh, I don't have anything to wipe it off with so it's all right <laughs> have a little shirt right here not that I should because you don't want the fibers on there, of course. Should have just left it the way it was. And I'm just going to stick that down over the pillow. I mean the pillow. Wow. Over the heart. <laughs> I want to put all of them down at the same time. You know, since they're, you know, so small. I gotta get a better setup than this. This is driving me crazy. So, yeah. So I'm just gonna put that down over the heart, put some tape on it, tape it down, and like I said, I wanna do them all at one time because they're so small, and this, um, <laughs> This thing is so hot over here already. So trying to do this part as quick as I can. Now I just got to find the little edge. Sometimes it's hard for me to see it. You know, these lights in here are really terrible. So, all right, I found it. Pull it off. Now the hearts, they're supposed to be the same size, but you know, everything ain't always the same size, you know, so, but it's okay. Stuck on there, okay. So that's going to be two. Oh, I'm hot. Then we're going to do the round one. And we're going to pull that off as well. You know, guys, if you're new here, thank you so much for being here. I really do appreciate it. 
This time I'm going to do my daughter's logo and put it on this pop socket for her. She doesn't know I'm doing it, but she will after she sees the video. <laughs> or if her daughter doesn't tell her first. But guys, if you're new here, thank you so much for coming by and just checking out my videos. Um, I have many more videos on sublimation. If you want to check those out, I really appreciate it. You can give this video a thumbs up. Click the like button. Hit the subscribe button. And hit that little bell notification. So you receive all the notifications when I upload a video or when I go live. So I just took off that little sticker piece. This is for the um, business card holder. And we're going to put that down there. And then I'm going to tape that down. And for my returning subscribers, how y'all doing? What's up? All right. I just want to do a little quick video. That's all. I had some time on my hands. Trying to get this stuff done for my granddaughter. Going to have a little trip trip tomorrow. I want her to have so much fun. But have her little bag with her. All right. So, we're going to do four of them at one time. All right. We got the two hearts. And we have the regular round pop socket. And we have the business card holder. Where is my paper? Okay. And I'm going to put this on top. My heat press is set to 385 for 45 seconds because my heat press gets very, very hot. So that's what I put it on. All right. Now we're going to do the license plate. I'm just going to tear this off I will wipe it off but I don't want to really put it back on that thing with the shirt I don't want no fibers on here you know you can take your lint brush and you can actually roll it on top of these um you know to pull up any other fibers and stuff which is a good idea all right, hold on. Here we go. Ooh, All right, so I'm going to sit this to the side for a second because, wow, I don't want to touch that because it's too hot. So I'll give it a minute to cool off while I put this license plate on. Yeah, I can see where I messed up on the words, but that's okay because this is mine. I always like to test stuff out for me first, just so everyone can get an idea of how it's supposed to look. And to make sure that you have your measurements. This license plate is like 12 by 6, but you always want to give it a little extra for bleed room. So this way your edges are not white. So you always want to do that. Wait, did I do that? I hope I did not. Give me one second. I don't want to put that tape there. Try not to cover up the license plate holes. All right, I think that's better. So, yeah, I was gonna cut the edge of it. But I don't need to. Let me just put my paper down. Put my paper down real quick. Let me sit this down here. Make sure that you are. Oh. I think I messed that up. But I got to see. I just realized what I did. Make sure that you're always heat pressing on this side. Okay, not that side of your substrate because you want the platen to hit that side and that is not what I just did. <laughs> oh. That's okay though. So I'm going to put that down. So, I 
put the platen on that side. So I just want to lift up one real quick. And just to see, I mean, it's thin. So, yeah, okay. All right, all right. Still came off. No problem. Okay, hold on. Damn it. All right, so this is for my daughter. That's her logo. A Rose's Beauty. That's going to go on here. I should have did the black one instead. Hold on. Just gonna move that over because it's very hot and yeah <laughs> so I'm going to pick this up real quick I'm taking the adhesive off very gently so that's on and I'm going to take the pop socket, like I said, I should have did it in black, but it's okay. And just pop that baby on. Yeah. And I'll give this to her. See? That looks really good. So that's one. And these other ones should be just fine if that one came out okay. Then these should be fine as well because, like I said, they're very thin. Yes. They're very, very thin. I need to move my words up something. Okay. Always got to test out your stuff. But y'all know my background on my website, sabroideryblanks.com. The business is Sabroidery Blanks LLC. But what I did is I forgot to add my words at the bottom that I've had for some time. And it says gratitude, strength, alignment. So those are my words that will be on when you see my name like this, my pages and everything, my Facebook group, Subordinary Blanks, my business page, Subordinary Blanks LLC. You will see those words at the bottom. I'm going to make them bigger though. But this business card case is for me. So I am going to take the adhesive off. Peel that off. Take this. And I'm just going to line it up. Because it is very sticky. So you really get one shot at that. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, you just want to be safe and sorry. And just press it down. Then you can take your business cards. Let me just grab some real quick. Seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, like I said, it fits like ten. So these are the ones that I sublimated before. I think I only did one side of a couple of them. And you take them and you just put them in there. I think it fits ten. Yeah. Yeah. I think I might got too many. I don't think I counted that right. See? There you go. I think I grabbed too many. So that's your business cards, and that's what you want to give to your customers and everything like that. You know? So here go the other pop socket. You just have to line up your, get your dimensions right. Oh, could have been bigger, but it's okay. She's just putting this on hers. 
So it should have been, I could have brought it down some more. So it's all right though, it's okay. All right, now here's the big thing. To get it on there, All right, so you're peeling off. Ah, should be double-sided. Okay. This, this side. Should be double-sided. Right? Yeah. I guess we'll see in a second. Haven't done this, so. <laughs> oh, I hope I peeled that right. No, no. Okay, there we go. It's double sided. It's very thin. That's why you can't really tell. And then you take it, just make sure it's down. And you put your little heart in there. Just give it a good push. And that's done. So that's true. And what's the other one? Right in front of me. Didn't even see it. Yep. So I had made these the same size. So I knew it was going to come out the same way. It's okay. It's all right. So anyway. So now you have the black one. It's the same. And again, take your little adhesive, just slip it right between there. Oops, come on, come on, on. Yeah. Ah. You know, it's hard to work when you don't have nails. And you just take this part off, but that's not the adhesive part. And then you put that on there, right there, and then smooth it down, and then go back again, so you can lift it up. And make sure that you're very careful, because you don't want to mess up the adhesive part that's stuck now. See it? And you slip your little heart in there. And you just push it down. And there you go. I would suggest, you know, just making sure, depending on the picture that you want to do. Because some of them can have white showing and stuff like that. It's okay. All right. So that's done. So now I'm going to do this really quickly for y'all. Uh, so I need to press it first and whoops, drop my other tape. Now this one, I'll just take my little lint brush, roll it over really quick. put that on the heat press I'll leave the side of it hanging off because I don't want to press the whole thing I just want that slip oh, I could turn it this way you know I just want that part and I'm going to cut just a little piece of this I don't need a big part because it's not that big. Press that for a few seconds. Moisture out. And I didn't forget about the license plate I have over here. All right. So I have the license plate. See how I release that ink on that paper? From around the sides, gotta be very careful. So, I'm gonna pull that off real quick. 
pull this up. Oops, there we go. Came out really nice. All right. Ooh, you can see that. There's more tape up there. All right. Now you can see it even bigger. And you see the words at the bottom? So I have to make it come in a little bit more at the bottom. That, that's the license plate. Now, I'm making a mess over here. Oh my God. So I'm gonna do this really quickly. Cut this. It does, this one, I believe, doesn't have to be perfect. I think I made the picture. bigger so I have them bleed lines so to be outside of the bag I believe I did that All right. and plus you always want to cut around your edges anyway to make sure that there's no ink transfer to your substrate because if you mess up with the extra ink it's not going to be cute and you're going to be very 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 upset okay so just want to make sure so i have my bag and this should be should be fine it looks fine I just want to make sure that the picture is a little hot. We are inside. All right. Get this done. I can see my camera is going to cut off. I don't know why it does that to me, but it gets me every time. So I'm just taping the edge and then I can sit it down over there on the heat press and press the tape down on the paper better. Okay, so, but this is good for the top. Look like the sides are good. All right, I'm gonna put it here on the heat press and all right there we go Ooh, hot under here oh my god Ooh, okay i gotta get from under here i need another piece of tape uh-uh grab it grab it grab it okay it's too hot under here all right so here we go. Now, hopefully this comes out well. <laughs> but let me move this stuff over here. So like I said, everything is going to be, the, uh, the bags will be up on the website in a little while. After I finish cleaning up, then I'll list the black bags up there. Um, Y'all want to check it out. Um, I still have the red bags up there too. So I do have the red and I have now the black. I'm trying to get another color, but I need them to make it. Uh, pop sockets are up there. The business cards is up there. I have them in a group business card plus the business card holder. I also have plain business cards. I also have just the business card holder. So all of that is up there, but I want to thank y'all for being on this little video with me real quick. Ooh, yay. I'm happy with that. It came out really nicely. Like I said, if you're new here, please subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification bell. 
so you be notified every time I do a video. Oh, that came out real. Oh, she's going to love this. But she's sleeping right now. And here's her little bag that she gets to take with her tomorrow. And her little pop socket with her and her little cousin. And the business cards are done. Business card holder. All of these are up on the website, sobroideryblanks.com. Thank you again. Hopefully, I'll be doing another video with some more stuff that's coming in. All right. And I'll talk to y'all soon. Thank you for watching. Bye, y'all.